from Fiberflux. Welcome back to week four of the 2019 Fiberflux Spring Crochet Along. We have been working hard the past few weeks on our flowering herbs shawl. As you can see, we have lots of ends left and we're going to be tackling all of those ends today. So for today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to weave in our ends and we do have different color ends that we'll have to make sure they go into the right spots. And we're also going to be adding a fun finishing touch to all four corners of our shawl and create a uh, tassel. And I'm going to show you how to do it very easily without any fancy tools. Before we get started, I also wanted to point out the Ravelry Crochet Along group that I highly recommend you join if you are working on the crochet along with us. This is a wonderful community space where all the makers of the crochet alongs kind of hang out and you can ask questions. There are people who answer questions if you've been crocheting for a long time. There are um, places to show off your work. You can get opinions about different colors or how the stitches look and things like that. So it's a great place to share your work. Also, if you use social media, you can use the hashtag FiberFluxCal, and I'll put that above. And you can use that hashtag to um, you know, tag your photos, and we can look at the collective photos of everybody who's working on the crochet along as well. So that's always really fun. So let's get started on weaving in the ends and the finish work and the tassels to complete our shawl. So let's get started. Okay, for today's tutorial, we're going to be focusing on the ends and adding some fun, pretty tassels to our shawl as well. So we're not going to be crocheting anymore. We'll be done the crochet part of the tutorial, but we're going to focus on these ends. So you're going to need some yarn for your tassels later on and a tapestry needle to weave in your ends and also attach your tassels later and just a pair of scissors for today's part. Okay, so let's turn this a little bit because when you are finishing up your shawl, you're going to have lots of ends when you switched colors. And it's going to be important to weave the ends into the areas of the corresponding color. And by that I mean, let's grab one of these ends here, one of these yellow ends. So we're going to go ahead and thread our tapestry needle. And then what we're going to do is weave the yellow end that I have here into the yellow section. Now whatever colors you're using, obviously you'll want to match the same way. So just go into those stitches, into the yellow portion of your stitches, and you're going to just go in one direction like that. And you're going to pull it all the way through, and then you're going to come back in the other direction with your tapestry needle just to kind of lock that tail into place. Okay, and then just give it a little tug, grab your scissors, and then just trim. Okay. Now likewise, we have a green tail here. We're going to keep that in this green section. And you're going to repeat this for all of your tails all the way across. Now you might need to wiggle it a little bit if some of the loops are snug. I'm just going to keep it right in that green section of our shawl. If you go into other areas of color, it's going to show and not look as nice and neat. Okay, and then just come back once again in that other direction so you have that tail locked into place, okay? And then just grab your scissors and give it a little trim to get that tail. So once you've done that for all of your ends, what you're going to do is come down to the bottom corner now, these tassels are completely optional. You don't have to put tassels on your shawl if you don't want to, but I think they make a nice little addition. So I'm going to show you just how to make a really quick little tassel. And I don't like to use fancy tools for mine. I just use my hand. So you're going to need your scissors, and you're going to cut a piece of yarn about 12 inches long, and then you're going to cut another piece of yarn about 12 inches long. Now I'm just going to go with the purple just because I happen to have the purple closest to me. And what we're going to do is take the strand of yarn and hold it down the front of your hand and then we're going to start wrapping it around all four fingers. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I'm not making a huge tassel. You can make yours a little fluffier by wrapping it more times around your hand. I'm gonna make mine kind of long and drapey. Okay, so let that other tail come down. I trimmed that tail. And then what we're gonna do is very carefully slide this bundle off of your hand. And then take your one strand that you cut. Remember we cut two strands. Take one of those strands and tie it at the top of your bundle. So go ahead and tie it nice and tight, nice and snug, just like that, so that you have it tied at the top. And then just kind of straighten things out, smooth everything out, and you're gonna lay your other piece of yarn flat, and then lay it over top, just like that, just so you make that tassel, that classic tassel shape. And then we're gonna tie this one more time Okay, and now one of those pieces will lay nice and flat. The other one I would recommend kind of tucking that under the band. So thread your tapestry needle and come up under with your needle and pull it through. And then those will lay nice and flat, okay? The next thing we want to do is grab our scissors. And these are a little small for the job, but they'll, they'll work okay. And we're just gonna cut all the loops from the bottom. I'm just going to go through and cut all those loops. Make sure you get all the loops. There we go. We might have to dig around a little bit looking for some more loops there. Okay, and then flip it back over. You can see mine is not huge. It's nice and kind of long and narrow and drapey. Okay, so smooth all your ends out, and then what we're gonna do is just give it a little, whoops, give it a little haircut. So just go all the way across, just like that, okay? Get all your little crumbs out of the way. I probably shouldn't have done this right over top of my shawl. Okay, so get everything straightened out and our tassel is complete. So then what you wanna do, tassels are really easy to attach and to take care of the ends, and I'm gonna show you. So thread one of the ends of your tassel here, and you're just gonna find the bottom corner, and then just come up, pull it through, and then just go ahead and tie it right on. Nice and snug. So now these two ends, we don't really want to weave this purple into this linen color because they'll show and it won't look very nice. But fortunately, it's very easy to take care of this with a tassel. So you're just gonna thread one end and you're gonna go through the middle of the tassel and all the way through. You wanna get it up under that band and pull it all the way through and take the other end, thread that tassel, or thread that end rather, run it through the center of your tassel and pull it all the way through. Okay, so now just take those two long strands, and give them a little trim, and your tassel will be complete and it looks very beautiful. So because this is a rectangle shawl, we have four corners and we have four beautiful shades of yarn. Let me just slide everything out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my tassels, one in each color, and then we will reveal the flowering herb shawl next week. So stay tuned, all of the ends will be woven in, the tassels, and it'll. Um, I will show you some ways that you can style your shawl as well. So stay tuned for next Tuesday. We're gonna wrap up the cowl, and in the meantime, I'd love for you to share your photos using the hashtag Hashtag FiberFluxCal, and I'll put that up above for you to use. And if you want to tag me on social media, and also if you're not part of the Ravelry Crochet Along group, I highly recommend that you join that group. That's a place you can share your photos, you can ask questions, etc. And I'll put the link down below for that. That's a group that you can join as well. And it's there's some wonderful, wonderful crochet along makers in there as well. So that is it for the tutorial part of the Flowering Herbs Shawl. 
But stay tuned next week. We're going to have the big reveal of the finished shawl when it's all together and looking gorgeous. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.